Hello and welcome to the final day of Modular in a Week, where we will do filters. So we've done loads of modules in the previous days, so to say. We've done six different kinds of modules and now we've come to the final part, uh, filters. And I hope you have been following along and seen all the videos. There are very many interesting modules and if you haven't uh, in the descri description below there is a link to the playlist so you can watch all the videos right now i believe we are up in 26 videos of that um, and also i want to remind you that there's a link to the spreadsheet and my dropbox folder where all the information for all the projects are all the a bill of materials uh, it's a big spreadsheet with all the modules in one uh, so you know exactly how many components you will need to buy depending on what you want to build and there's the uh, panels is in the dropbox folder and link to the schematics are in the description and in the spreadsheet so hopefully you will find all the information you need to build any of the modules or any of the projects in modular in a week also i want to get a shout out to all my patreon supporters who are making it easier for me to make these kinds of videos and if you want you can become a patreon of course and if whether you want to or not you can go over there and watch there's a video that is open to the public now uh, of a build vlog that I did last week uh, with uh, where I built a portamento uh, module which is here now uh, and the reason I built that is because of the discussion that was about the sample and hold and how that reacted without the hold capacitor in so I wanted to see how a portamento circuit would work with the sample and hold so there's an extra module there if you want to build that it sounds pretty cool, different with the uh, sample and hold circuit, uh, with that in line with that. So anyway, today, filters. And we're going to start with a pretty mellow filter. Uh, no resonance in this filter, just uh, CV controllable frequency. Uh, and it's uh, the Paya 2720 uh, dash 3L which is a low pass filter from the early days of Paya I believe it is one of their first modular synthesizers the 27 series and uh, or the 2700 series actually there are other filters 2720 dash 3B is a bandpass filter which is similar to this one but today we'll make the low pass filter. So let's go into and see where I found the schematics, the parts and how to build this. I found this filter on synthdiy.com 2720-3LVCF. And looking at the schematics, this is what it looks like. There was a question, the Q1 the transistor here wasn't specified. I don't, didn't know what kind of transistor this was. Um, and also the input controls, there were no, uh, there's a CV input, but no uh, frequency pot. So I had to add that. Knowing what I know now, I should have added a summing mixer here. To, for the CV input and the frequency pot that would have been better. Also to find this one, so I searched more online and I didn't find any information about the 3L, but on electromusic again.com I found a forum post about the Pia 2720-3B. Uh, so this gave me a few ideas. First of all, uh, I looked at his schematics that he did and he uses BC549. So I thought BC549 should work, no problem. 
And he also said that, however, I swept the diode for a red LED and drove it from an exponential current source. The result was great increase in the range of the filter. And of course, we're going to try this as well to exchange our 41N4148, which I'm going to use. I don't think they are marked either. So 1N4148 is the my standard go-to signal diode when it doesn't say anything but we can try with red leds as well of course and he also made a cv mixer and exponential current source so we're not going to do this but perhaps this would be good and give us higher range as he says so these are, are things that you can consider when you build this uh, in my build I just added a jack here and then on one of the other ones I added a pot connected between plus and ground uh, for the frequency knob. Components. So I choose to make this intermediate actually because of the CV input kind of things that you need to... If you've made a lot of the other modules before then you might know uh, how to make a CV input uh, summing mixer. Uh, I believe I go through that in day 1.2 and a few others actually because I add that plenty of times. Not in this one but I would suggest adding that. So if you want to make one it costs four dollars in parts there's 20 parts, there's nothing special. I also have found that if you don't have the correct transistor, the BC549, then a BC548 usually works. So you can always try that. I know I didn't have any BC548s and used BC547s and 49s instead and haven't had have had result with that. I don't know if I've had the right result, but it has worked. It's always better to use what they choose, but we're already going away from the original design. So, And the front panel looks like this. The frequency knob, if you want CV amount, it's there. CV input, in, signal in and out. Really simple. And I managed to get this down to 4 HP as most modules. So we put it in the rack. Let's connect this. Let's take a VCO into a VCA and the VCA out into the voltage control filter. And then out from that one and into the mixer. And let's control the VCA with the dual VCLFO. And we have so we see we can remove the utmost edges of the of the square waveform. Let's look at the difference between the 1N4148 diodes and the red LEDs. And let's bring out the scope for this. This is the filter with the 1N4148.
and that's it our first filter for this day is done and we can now start to shape our sound a bit more uh, as i said in previous videos the previous days until the last at least two days was supposed to be so you were able to do the modules in that day in one day uh, the last episode with the noise and sample and hold got a bit carried away and this episodes are or this day is definitely going to be carried away because in the beginning I only found a few simple filters so this was the first one I built and was the one the filter that was in my lunchbox modular uh, the first package I did that week I made the uh, modular but as I've been searching as this has progressed over the weeks and months Google have learned what it is I'm I'm trying to find I guess uh, and now I'm just finding more and more really simple and really interesting filters. So I'm still building filters actually because I just keep finding interesting ones that I want to try. So this day will not keep in that four hour frame, just so you know. With that said, I hope you like this. Uh, please subscribe and like and comment if you have any comments. Uh, and I'll see you in the next episode for another filter. Take care. Bye.